Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing top five tools that I'd like to see come through Harbor Freight in the cordless power tool line. So this is going to be all cordless tools. Now I made this video somewhat in collaboration with a longtime subscriber and, and you know somewhat of a friend through the internet, Jeremy Huff. He's been around on my channel for quite a long time. And we were just talking through Instagram about some of the tools that we'd like to see uh, come through Harbor Freight, and he was talking a lot about different corded tools and even non-bower tools, or even non-power tools for that matter. Um, when I was originally thinking of making this video out of just bower cordless tools, because there are some I would definitely like to see, so I decided to make two videos. The first video is going to be, obviously, this one where I talk about five cordless tools I'd like to see come through that bower tool line. The next one is just going to be 10 tools from Harbor Freight that Jeremy and I came up with things that we'd like to see. Some of them will be his, some of them will be mine. And I'll make a video on that uh, here coming up shortly in the future. So make sure that you subscribe for that if that's the kind of content you like to see. Uh, let me know in the comments below what tools you would like to see come out in the Bauer cordless tool line specifically. And of course, make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you like the video. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithms. Anyway, on with the top five tools I'd like to see from Harbor Freight. So the first tool is a cordless ratchet. Now, I already have one of these in the Milwaukee M12 tool line. However, I would like to see Bauer come out with one because I'm ready to get rid of my Milwaukee tools. Uh, this is not the first time I have done this. I did this with the 20-volt tools, and now I want to do it again with the 12-volt tools that I own uh, because I know that these tools are at least somewhere on their way. I'm not an everyday mechanic. I actually don't uh, work with my hands really for my day job and so I don't really need professional grade tools where that Milwaukee ratchet definitely is in that realm. Not only that, but I just want to simplify things by getting rid of all the tools that are not Bauer and just sticking with this Bauer tool line. Because the longer I own it, the more tools they come out with, the more brushless options they come out with in these tools, the more thrilled I am about being in this cordless tool line. But they've got a ton of stuff out and they just keep coming out with more. So I definitely would like to get a cordless ratchet from Bauer. Now, the one thing that I want to mention that I might, you know, more or less say I have a problem with with this one, uh, just by looking at it, is the angle in which the battery attaches to the tool. So the battery attaches to the tool there at that, I don't know what angle you'd call that. I just think it makes it a little bit less compact compared to some of these other cordless ratchets from these other brands like the Craftsman, the Cobalt, and the DeWalt here uh, pictured from Lowe's. All three of these tools have a uh, battery that goes straight in line. I probably would call that 180 degrees with the tool. And I think that probably just makes it just a little bit more compact and uh, will allow you to get into tighter spaces just a little bit where I'm not too sure about the angle that they have on the bower here. However, it is not enough to draw me away from it. It's just if I could like make a suggestion before you know I start seeing these things in stores, it would probably be to see that thing, uh, that battery connect to the tool uh, straight in line with the tool instead of at that angle. I don't know if there's some kind of patent issues with it or whatever, but I would not mind seeing that change. So the next tool I'd like to see come through the cordless power tool line would be a framing nailer. Now in talking to Jeremy, one thing he mentioned is not only a framing nailer, but a finish nailer and a roof nailer. Uh, those things obviously would be nice. But for me specifically, the one thing I could see myself using probably as much or more than anything else is a framing nailer. I have a whole bunch of projects coming up, some uh, additions and modifications to buildings some small buildings that I'll be putting together and that framing nailer would come majorly in handy and of course I'll probably have them all just about built by the time they ever come out with a cordless tool like that uh, but I just think that you know the the crown staple that they have already and the brad nailer that they have already those are nice good convenient tools I'm, I'm real glad that they came out with them obviously some other brands have some framing nailers like uh, Milwaukee and DeWalt and who knows what else. Um, seems like it shouldn't be too difficult for Bauer to come out with their own thing. Definitely seems like something that could potentially come out in the near future and I'd definitely love to get my hands on one. So the third tool on this list would be a cordless die grinder. 
Now, I don't use die grinders a lot, but occasionally they do come in handy. There's a few things, a few tasks that you definitely need one for. And they occasionally come up for me, especially in welding and some of my mechanic stuff. I used to use one almost every day. Of course, it wasn't cordless. It was pneumatic. In a tire shop to patch tires. I would like to definitely keep one around myself. I've got one in the M12 tool line. Uh, here's a couple uh, 18 to 20 volt uh, options from Cobalt and Metabo. Uh, not a huge tool that probably everybody would want, but I definitely would like to have one uh, in the Bauer cordless tool line because, like I said, I'd like to uh, condense down my cordless power tools and just stick with Bauer. They do have a corded die grinder. Now, hopefully, they can find a way to just throw a battery adapter there on the end so you can plug in a battery and run it off of a battery, of course, probably with uh, different internals, but you guys get the idea. So this fourth tool also comes from my conversation with Jeremy. He mentioned that he'd like to see a cordless 16-inch chainsaw. And I don't know if he mentioned this or if I just got the idea that it would have to be uh, powered by two batteries. Maybe they could run it off of just one of the 20-volt batteries off of a brushless motor. I'm not exactly sure what the requirements would need to be. The 10-inch works good. I, I reviewed it favorably. I'm very happy with it. You know, I've used it within the last couple of months. It's really convenient and everything. It's just a really great little tree trimmer is really, at the end of the day, all it is. And so I think it'd be really nice to get a battery powered. 16 inch chainsaw that's ready for a little bit more demanding jobs than probably this 10 inch saw can take care of. But where the jobs aren't so demanding, then I need to pull out my steel and Husqvarna gas powered chainsaws that are, you know, in the small to medium range, but gas powered chainsaws are gas powered chainsaws nonetheless. And it takes, you know, some time to warm up, some time to start up. Uh, you know, maybe they're winterized. It would just be nice to have something that's just kind of in between the really small little 10 inch and a full size gas power chainsaw that would fill the role of, like I said, you know, a brushless 16 inch or maybe a dual battery powered uh, cordless chainsaw. So I definitely have some situations where that would come in handy. Is it absolutely necessary? No, but it's a tool that I definitely wouldn't mind seeing. And the fifth tool would be a portable bandsaw. Now they already do have a corded portable bandsaw, but of course we're talking about cordless tools here. And I'd like to see a cordless portable bandsaw. I use the corded one on occasion, but it's oftentimes because it's just as inconvenient, honestly, as uh, lugging around any of my other saws. And so oftentimes I don't use it. But if I had a nice cordless one, I could definitely see myself using a uh, port a band a lot more often than I do and uh, you know there's obviously several other brands that have some out there Milwaukee's even got one in the 12 volt tool line so just a good sized 20 volt Bauer cordless bandsaw would definitely be on my list because I do plenty of metalworking and welding stuff around the house around the the property and whatnot definitely something I'd be looking forward to and they do have pictures of this thing somewhere around the website I'll have to find it for you but yeah, that pretty much sums up the five tools that I'd like to see Harbor Freight come out with in this Bauer 20-volt cordless tool line. So thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to let me know what tools you would like to see from Bauer in the comments below. Also, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Helps out with those YouTube, YouTube algorithms big time, and I really, really do appreciate it when you guys hit that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. And lastly, I hope to see you in the next video.